today I say goodbye to my car of the last 12 years. It's a 2009 Lincoln MKZ that was passed on to me from my grandfather, and I'm gonna trade it in for this one. <laughs> Now, in all honesty, the car has served me well for a very long time, but there are so many things wrong with it. For example, there's a hole in the seat. The sunroof doesn't work and has been completely sealed shut. I hit a pole a few weeks ago. The tires are very bald and only one set of keys. So luckily I secured something new and it is a huge upgrade. But before we pick it up, I wanna hit up some of my favorite local malls and I wanna show you guys what I look for when I go shopping at the mall. All right, so now we are Yorkdale, which is honestly one of Canada's biggest and best malls um, for the very reason that they have a ton of affordable stores as well as high-end ones like Tiffany right behind me um, and so we are gonna be on the hunt actually for a pair of black easy slides but I'm also going to be hopping into a few of my favorite affordable stores to show you what I look out for when I'm there stores like Uniqlo stuff like that so um, come with me and we'll check it out all right so as you can see right behind me is Uniqlo um, so once again first thing when I do when I hop in here is I start to look for the Uniqlo U collection which takes us to the t-shirts over here. Um, as we know, one of the best t-shirts, these are the Uniqlo UTs, which are a little bit less soft, but they have great structure and thickness. I especially love the band around the collar as well. These are, of course, their Uniqlo Airism tees, a lot more lighter fabric. As you can tell, there's actually a difference in color between the inside and the outside because there's a little bit of polyester involved. These ones have a nice boxy fit and the sleeves are a lot longer. And as always, one of the best parts of the Uniqlo tees is they come in a wide range of colors. I just noticed that they have this brown one right here, which is super clean. But just next to it is one of my favorite products from Uniqlo, and it is the Uniqlo Open Collar Shirt. So I'm actually going to be trying these on for you guys just to see, uh, show you guys how great they actually are. Okay, these are an absolute must cop, the Uniqlo U Drawstring Shoulder Bag. I'm literally wearing it right now. I have two colors. I have this black color that you see here, and I have uh, this beige. Let me show you guys what it looks like on. Hop over to the mirror over here. Quick fit checks, do CT, Chicago's. And this is what the bag looks like. So I had to have some heavier stuff in there, so it looks it may look a little bit weird. But honestly, I use these every single week. I absolutely love them. Also, don't sleep on the women's section as well. They have these really nice wide fit cargos over here in all of the essential colors. You got the cream, you got the beige, the black, the olive. And honestly, nobody's gonna know <laughs> that they're women, so what difference does it make? They've got tons of different sizes and availability. Uh, so be sure to check those out. Another one of my favorite items are the utility gear shorts. Look at all the different colors they come in, some bright, some plain. I have the black and the olive pair, and these have such a great length. A little bit, I think maybe like a seven or eight inch inseam, side zipper pockets, nylon ripstop material, really, really good. So if you wanted to switch things up from cargos, they do have these baker pants, which are technically called fatigues because of these large rectangular pockets along the front that have a nice straight fit and come in the browns, the, the olives, and the blacks. So I don't know if you guys remember from my last Uniqlo haul video, they have these utility short blouse in that's really clean looking, these large pockets along the front. I remember this fitting huge though, so we're going to be after the extra small. All right, so I basically got like kicked out of Uniqlo. They told me to stop filming, which I totally understand not everybody wants to be on camera in the background. Mind you, I wasn't focusing on anybody, but it's kind of a shame. I've been shopping at Uniqlo for uh, how many years? But either way, we're at Cost now, which has some great elevated basics, so let's check it out. Cost was having a big sale, and this beautiful Harrington-style jacket was 40% off. They also had these wide-fitting olive trousers for 70% off. And you know they always come correct with some open-collar shirts. This one was 50% off. This is probably my favorite item, this knit polo. I love the contrast collar. Just look at the texture on that one. And they always have some nice matching sets as well where the shorts match the shirt. Don't forget about their high-quality tank tops as well. And this shirt was another favorite of mine. I love the texture on this one. And here is another matching set of theirs in a more taupe color. I'm also pulling up the Foot Locker, which is just behind me. It has been many years since I walked into a Foot Locker and just bought a pair of shoes, but let's see what they got. First things first, we have this really clean pair of Adidas Gazelles. Across from it was these on cloud running shoes, which is one of my favorite shoes to run in and just do some general workouts in. This is probably one of the nicest shoes in here as well. No, I love my A6 and both of these were really clean. Jordan 5 Crafts were sitting as well as the Air Jordan 2. I really like this shoe a lot. And one of the biggest breaks of the year are the cement print Air Jordan 1s. Unfortunately, people did not want these. Let's move on to New Balance. These 2002 R's are one of the best shoes in here, as well as the 990 V6. 
and they had a whole wall of New Balance 550s. I know I'm here for a pair of Yeezy slides, but these Adelet 22s are really nice and I'm gonna go with them instead. They have them at Champs apparently in my size. On our way to Champs and I had to stop by one of the biggest Nike stores in North America. I'm not in the hunt for anything in particular, but I might as well check it out. Their Nike ACG line is honestly one of my favorites. They don't have a ton of stuff right now, but this is where I bought that brown uh, ACG jacket that I've popped up in a bunch of videos with. So definitely go check out your local Nike store for some of those gems. Here is the massive wall of shoes that they had and seeing these just reminded me of how much I would love to see the Flying Eraser make a return. They also had some pretty standard colorways of the Air Force One and Nike Dunks. However, this one in particular was really nice. To be honest, I don't even know the name of it. By far, this is the best shoe though, the Nike Airship and the Air Jordan 5 Craft. Let's fast forward to Champs So I finally got to see these in hand. I know I'm a year late, but man, these are very, very comfortable and I bought them very fast. All right, so I didn't end up getting the Yeezy slides. I thought I would just get these instead, uh, but you know what? I'm just gonna drop off some of the stuff that I bought and then I'm gonna go grab some to eat. And by grab something to eat, you already know I meant Chick-fil-A. So for Chick-fil-A, I got the spicy deluxe with the waffle fries, of course. All right, one by everyone knows the rules. And for the record, Chick-fil-A has only been open in Canada for a very short amount of time. So this is very new to us and it slaps incredibly hard. And so here she is, guys. This is the 2023 Volkswagen GTI 40th anniversary. Let's start with the front of the car. I love the red trim that you see throughout, as well as the honeycomb grille with the two front fog lights, which look stunning. Let's move on to the wheels. We got 19 inch alloy rims, black with the red trim. And for the rear, of course, is a hatchback. One of my favorite details to open up the trunk. You just push your finger right here and lift up and you're good money. I'm already starting to clutter it up there. I got a bunch of soccer balls because I got to play later. So anyways, I just love the overall shape of it. The interior is honestly stunning. For those seats, you have racing style seats with that signature black, gray, and red plaid. I absolutely love the steering wheel. Plus you got a digital dash and all of those speedometers that you can see there are fully customizable and you can change them to whatever type of view that you would like. Um, and you can do a GPS view and just a bunch of other things. It's super high tech. Right next to it, we got Apple CarPlay, which for me is a huge upgrade considering I had that old system before. So Apple CarPlay is huge, especially since I love music. Now I am by no means a car guy, but this really is a glow up of a lifetime. Going from that old car, which once again, I was very appreciative to be able to drive. It still took me from point A to point B, but this thing is like a spaceship compared to that. All right, now last thing before I head back to the condo, I wanna show you guys just a little bit of what the car sounds like. <laughs> a lot better than the Lincoln. All right, guys, I am back home and I want to give you a quick recap of everything that I bought. First up are these Adelet 22 slides. I am super impressed with how these look and feel on feet. I know they came out last year. This is my first pair. Um, but they're honestly a great affordable alternative to a pair of Yeezy slides. Um, I did get this uh, that um, that blouse in from Uniqlo in that green color that I showed you guys. I love the fit of it. Sleeves are a bit long, but we'll just have to sort of work it out. Um, and another thing that was just sent to me by, from Size Canada are these Adidas Joggen, Joggen, I think they're probably called because it's German, but um, either way, these are super clean. Great alternative to the Sambas. I mean, they look very, very similar. I'm not sure, too sure which one came first, Quality in these are excellent. I love the hits of orange on here. Great summer color, and you already know they're gonna look dope with a pair of cargos. So in terms of vlogs, you can expect them more on the channel. Um, I'm not an expert yet, and I have a long way to go when it comes to vlogging, to be honest. I still have a little bit of anxiety filming in public, but it's just something that I think I'm gonna have to overcome, and I will over time. Um, but I'm gonna start switching up the content more on the channel. So be sure to stay tuned. Hopefully you're subscribed. Um, I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.